Hey farm hands, farm boy Reef here. So on today's episode of the lab, um, we're gonna get all the water into the 60 gallon tanks. So right here, we got the 250 gallon vat. This is what we did together, you guys. Um, and from our previous episodes, we mixed up uh, the D&D H2 Ocean Salt. And we did some testing on that. We did all our salinity, magnesium, um, made sure everything, the calcium, everything was in check and it was guaranteed that was on the bag because that's what we're using in the lab and we want to make sure all the results are perfect. So that's what we got. So if you guys want to check that out from the previous video, that's what we did. So today what we're going to do is, I got my hose here. We have to get this 250 gallons of water into the lab tanks. It's all three of the same uh, 60 gallons. What we're going to do is we're going to fill one, each one individually. And then after we do that, we're going to turn on all the Tunzi products. We got our skimmers, we got our power heads, and then as soon as that's lit up, then we can start our cycle. So we want to make sure we're going to test, you know, for our PO4. And then while we're doing our cycling as well, we got to get the bacteria in there to help uh, cycle our tank a lot faster. So that's what the plan on we're going to do today, guys. So first off, we got to get all this water um, down into the into the lab. So I got my hose here. So we're gonna get down there, we're gonna get it all set up. All these tanks and sumps all wet. So outside we got the 250 gallon vat of the H2 Ocean Salt that uh, we mixed up on my other previous videos. And we did a bunch of testing to make sure all the magnesium and calcium and the pH and everything was spot on the bag because they have that guarantee on there. So that was great, everything worked out. So today we're gonna get these tanks all filled up. I have my, uh, I got my hose here coming from the 250 gallon vat outside. So we're gonna start filling these tanks up and um, then in this video, and then we're going to turn all the Tunzi, we're going to turn those on. Those are our return pumps to fill the tanks from the sump. And then we have our, our Suns Nano uh, version of uh, the power heads as well. Those are the 6055s with their controllers, wave makers. So it's perfect. So we're going to be able to get those tuned in, just get all the, the motion going on in, uh, in their tanks. So I'm looking forward to getting everything all set up here, guys. Uh, so let's tune in. Let's get the tanks all filled up. Then we'll start turning on the skimmers. Get this. Uh, we're gonna get the cycle going as well, and then uh, we're gonna learn how to cycle, deal with all the nitrates and phosphates, and uh, get the cycle going. Um, and then we're gonna learn a little bit about uh, the ORP uh, redox meter. I have one here. We're gonna have to calibrate it to test uh, in our tanks. Um, what this does here is gonna test uh, the electrodes in the tank. If you want to say it's almost like a, it's like a battlefield, they're fighting back and forth for uh, the oxygen levels and then it's going to break down the waste, any phosphates and stuff in here and then we're going to have to do that cycle to get that process going. This way we can monitor to see what's going on in each tank. Alright guys, so let's get these tanks all filled up. Let's start there and then we'll keep moving forward. Okay, so we got, uh, we got the water flowing right now as you guys can see. I got my hose here and we're slowly, we're going to be filling up this tank. So all these, uh, the 60 gallons and the 30 gallon sump. So we have a large volume of water here that we got to get done. So I'm pretty excited. So as the water, you know, is flowing through the sand and in our rocks and stuff. So naturally, you know, we're going to start getting the phosphates, the nitrates and everything. So, so that's why we have to cycle these tanks. So we're going to have to either, you know, we're going to introduce a uh, bacteria into here to speed up the process. And then the, those bacteria, what they're going to do is they're going to take all the, the waste out of there, the phosphates and nitrates. And then we're going to be using uh, like our, our HANA tester again, so we can test all our, our nitrates and our phosphates and all other stuff too. So I'm pretty excited. I'm going to do this. What I'm going to do as well is I'm going to keep some of this tank water. I'm going to fill up a bucket. We're going to take some of uh, Marco's rock and we're going to put it in uh, in the pail and we're going to put some power heads in there and leave it. And then we're going to test to see if there's any phosphates come off the Marco's rock as well. And then. Uh, We'll, we'll know as we're doing our tests if it was all in the water or just because it was all in the sand. I want to make sure we have a good test on that because, you know, just by this having the, the live sand in here, we could have uh, phosphate so it wouldn't be fair to the rock. So that's why we're going to put it in its own bucket, put the power heads in there, and then we'll test uh, the uh, phosphates in that as well. So we're going to give this some time to fill. We've got a, we got a late night to do all this. And then I'm excited to start turning on all the, all the Tunzi products and get the cycle going for you guys so we can learn all about that. And then uh, and then we can start working on our sumps, how we're gonna put it in things in our refugium. Um, I have a nice uh, LED light that I wanna install in there and show you guys. And then we can start, as we get the cycle going, we're gonna start uh, with our uh, with our, with our uh, Deltec reactors so we can uh, add our, uh, our Roafos. And then we can get the, we get the Polyp, uh, Polyp Lab uh, Pro Carbon as well in, in the sump as well in a high flow area so we can keep our wallet our, uh, well polished our water so it's going to take some time here so let's let these keep filling we're going to come back after and we'll start turning on all the products
All right, so I just want to show you guys up close here. So this is our water coming in from the vat. We're slowly filling up our tank. We have our Marco's Rock that we did our aquascaping. So you guys can see how the water is a little bit foggy. But it's starting to fill up there really nicely. All right guys, so this tank, is, it's full. As you guys can see, uh, the sump levels, our first chamber, is coming from our, uh, our return pump right from the tank. But our overflow is coming here to our filter sock to our skimmer, and then here this is gonna be our uh, refugium area, where we're gonna put uh, some nice micro algaes in here. And I got a nice uh, LED light we're gonna stick in here. And then we got our return pump. So now we got the water flowing, as the tanks are all filled up. We have our, uh, we got our hydras up there as well. So all we need to do now is start, you know, start tuning everything in. We gotta plug our skimmer in. Um, this is, we got, our, uh, we got our pumps here for circulating the water. So all we have to do right here now is I have this turned on. We just have to hit on our Tunzi, hit select, and we can put it on pulse right now, or auto adjust. So we can adjust all the knobs. I'll show you guys that in a minute as well. So as you guys can see, the pumps here, they're moving. You can see there's a lot of nice, uh, a lot of nice, nice water movement, nice uh, surface area as well. The more surface area you have on top of your water moving and getting that oxygen going, it's going to break up a lot of the different gases in the tank and it's very beneficial for your fish to have lots of oxygen. So you guys can see we're getting a lot of great water movement. It's awesome with these pumps. We can just we can adjust them manually. We can, we can ramp them right up, so you guys can see. And then we can do one as a slave and then they can work back and forth, different motions like at night, adjust it so they have the different uh, pulsating for all the corals. That's great. So you guys can see, it's working perfectly. It's gonna look amazing getting all. It's gonna look amazing getting all three of these going on here. So what we need to do? I got the heater plugged in. We got our pump turned on. And the next thing we have to do right now is we're gonna plug in our skimmer, and then we're gonna start skimming, and we're gonna start the cycle on these tanks, guys. So as you guys can see on the third tank, I'm starting to get filled up as well. And I'll bring you guys in close. You guys can check this out. As you guys can see, uh, the water's starting to fill up in the sump center now. The water's flowing really well. And the tank's pretty much filling up right now. So now we have to do is just turn on some of the gear very soon. And then we can start on to the next tank. Then we can start on to the third tank. So it's coming along, guys. So we have all three tanks are filled, all of the uh, 30 gallon sumps are filled. As you guys can see, they're starting to flow, they all have their chambers and all the tear effect is going on. So I'm just going to bring you guys a closer personal, we'll turn, uh, we're going to turn the pumps on here, get some water flowing, and then in our next episode we're going to start talking about the cycle, how things are going to go, we're going to add uh, bacteria, we're going to do some testing, uh, nitrates and phosphates, to make sure we do all that. But before we end here, I want to bring you guys in close. Check out the pumps. We're going to turn everything on. We're going to get some flow going. And then we're going to start the cycle, everyone. So come on in. All right, gang. So here we go. So we got our, we got our Tunzi uh, power heads right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the controllers. We're going to turn everything on. So right now, if you look here, we have this is external control. So this way I can control it any way I want. So this is your uh, main power, your pulse, and pulse power. So we can crank this right up. They're cranking them, just like that. And then we can pick, see here, here, we got pulse mode. So if you look here, you can see the top of the water is really moving. So we got a lot of surface area, so that's great for uh, gas exchange. You guys can see. So you can just see with all the nice water movement we going on here, going over into the overflow boxes. So that's perfect. So let's go into the middle tank. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna name these tanks together. So let's turn this one on as well. So we're gonna go put it on the pulse, 10 seconds. And then we can ramp everything up. Just like that, so we'll come back to the tank. You can see. Lots of nice surface area. Tank's looking great. Aquascape turned out pretty good. And then we're gonna come over to the next one. We're gonna ramp these up as well. 
you guys can see the surface area. There's the other power heads. So it's looking good, so you guys can see the controllers are working. All right, gang, so we got the water in the tanks. Uh, we got the Tunzi turned on here. Another episode, I'm going to show you how we're going to tune all these up so everything works the same. Um, just a few adjustments, and we want to make sure with our skimmers, we get that uh, perfect amount of skim. We can either go with like a really dark, dark skim or, or a really light skim. We'll pick one of them to see what works the best. So, it's going. We got to let this run about 20, 40, 36 hours. Let everything start to mix up before we start using the, the ORP uh, tester. So we start our cycle, and then we'll be going from there. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. You guys get to see the water going in the tanks right now, so it's going to turn out great. So the next things we're going to do, we're going to start the cycle. We're going to learn a little bit of the nitrogen phosphates, everything that's going on here. Um, I put a, uh, I filled up uh, another uh, container full of. Uh, uh, leftover water so we can test uh, Marcos rocks for any phosphate. Sorry gang. So uh, thanks for tuning in this week. Um, you guys tune in same time, same place next week. You never know what's coming up. So please subscribe and hit the like button.